Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm actually at Steamtown in Scranton. Unfortunately, today I came up to spend a little time with Jay and we did get one video done over at Rocky Glen, but unfortunately he stepped on a nail. There was a piece of wood with some nails sticking out that he didn't see and when he stepped on it, it went right through his shoe into his foot. So he's at home right now. He's gonna be going, heading to get that checked out soon. He's gonna keep me posted. I wanted to stay with him. I offered to stay with him. He told me not to bother or just to go spend, you know, spend my time out, find some stuff to do or whatever. So, um, but he is gonna get that taken care of. He's gonna go to a, um, what you call it? I forget what they're called. <laughs> One of those um, urgent care centers to get it taken care of. So um, if I get any updates before the end of this video, I'll throw that in here. If not, I'm sure he'll do something on one of his videos explaining it so it a, you know accident accidents happen he's okay you know he's just hurting so so in the meantime i figured i'd come over here to steam town see what they got going on they actually do have a new mapping process and what's open and what's closed and safety guidelines for the covid stuff they do have signs marked or uh, set up as well and they have it regulated that you need to follow markers going which direction. The yards are still open. You can still walk, walk through the yards. You can still go through the roundhouse. The only red building here is the visitor center that is open with the bathrooms, which would be right here. Um, everything else is pretty well closed for exhibits and whatnot for the time being. Plus. Here's the yard map area. So I'll just give you a little update of that. I just wanted to come over here, kill some time, see what they got going on over here. And what's in place for the COVID safety regulations and whatnot. So this won't, probably won't be a very long video. It'll be a short one, but see what we can see as we, yeah, even the, the bookstore and museum shop is closed too. So. Probably just do primarily outside. Maybe we'll do in the roundhouse and then walk around the yard and that'll be it. But Laura is with me, but she's kind of tired. She had a rough night, so she's taking a little nap in the truck. You can see they actually have the the buildings that are closed. They have a mark that's closed. So. I actually picked a good time to be here because there's really not a lot of people here right now. So works pretty good with the social distancing. They do have one way. You enter the roundhouse over here. That right there is pretty, pretty insane that the 2124 is so long, it's sitting on the turntable, but the back part of the tender doesn't even fit on there. <laughs> so all three of the rear trucks are not even on the turntable right now. But the way it's lined up is they can get it in and out right here and then straight out through there so they don't have to they don't have to turn it around. <clears throat> so again, here's some signs marking. 
marking the way to go. Again, your safety guidelines. Here's a look at the outside of the roundhouse. All right, let's head in. It looks like they have the doors open so you don't have to worry about touching the doors. Also has uh, hand sanitizer stations. Which do work. So, stand by. You know. Okay, all sanitized up. Here we go. seen that before. I may have been here, I just may not have caught it. Obviously this is different from what I'm used to from the other times that I've been here. Usually we walk this direction, the opposite direction that I'm walking now. Well, that's pretty wild to get this open. So you can see in. Get you out of the so you can see it. Wow. We got a passenger car in here. The High Valley car. There's the bald one. Last time I was here that was not in here that was in the shops getting repairs done from a mishap from what I understand. So it's good to see that's back back out here at least. There's another that would be a tail or a rear car because it's got the thing on the back there. I can't think of what it's called at the moment. And yeah, there's the bald one. All our glory. Continue following the uh, path out. And then we're back outside. Here's a look at the 2124 again from the other side. Another sanitizing station. The technology museum is open, so you can either cut through there, it'll go back out, or you can enter in this way. 
I'm get some cars over there all wrapped for preservation. So again here, normally you can actually get up close to this and see that they have it roped off for precautions. So you can kind of still get close to it, but not as close to it as you would it be normal. Normally, I should say. This one's a bald one too. This is the cutaway to see the internal workings of it. and storyboards here different tools look at the size of this wrench it's huge and here you got different uh, manufacturer plates Lima Locomotive Works, American Locomotive, should be Alco, Schenectady Works. Yeah. All right, head back out this way. Signboard. If you want to pause it and read it, all right. So that's pretty much it. This is where we were at right here. That's really all the exhibits they have open right now. So you can see inside. style trucks here. Pretty much it. I mean, so it's just to give you an update to show you what you can and can't see here. So we'll head out to the yard and see what's see what we can take a peek at out there. yard is still open as well so you can go out in this portion of it you look on the map here gives you your areas of what's closed the bridge and walkway elevated walkway going up to the mall is closed uh, everything beyond that the trolley platform that's all closed the walkway going to the elevated walkway is closed the trolley museum is still open so you can get in there 
and pretty much this area here is open so you can still walk around this portion of the yard at least. Here, the 902 and the 903 over here. So that whole section over there is closed. We can't go beyond that. Or actually, you can on this side, but you can't get to it from the other side. Is what they're what they're showing on the map here. So you can probably go to about the walkway to check out that locomotive, that's about it. I don't remember that one, I don't know. I'm sure that was here, but I don't remember seeing that before. I know I've seen the 3254. Yeah, that may have been, yeah, I may have footage of that. Sparky, if you're watching. So these will be the cars that we use for the train excursions. Which I'm sure are not running right now. Here is the caboose from the caboose excursion during the rail fest that Sparky and I rode up in the Coppola. I'll link that video in the description. Here is the snow removal. The giant snow blower. Yeah, this is the this is the caboose that we rode in. Like I said, they have these cars all sealed up to preserve them. The train is uh, that's still that was sealed up before when we were here before. And then, yeah, here they got a sign here. So once you get to this point, you can't go beyond it. So normally during rail fest and whatnot, this is all open that you can go back in there and you can look at all that stuff. And back along that stretch is where they have the speeders run. And then they do the tour of the building back there, which unfortunately that's just all closed right now. So, but at least, you know, you have this much to still come out and enjoy and, and check out 
and see get your locomotive and train fix <laughs> I guess you could say like I said this wasn't actually planned this was just a I was in the area spur of the moment thing I am thinking about Jay right now with an injury and I hope that it's obviously nothing serious and I know it kind of put a damper in his plans for tonight he was actually planning on doing a video tonight with Alan from Revenge of the Apocalypse. So I'm hoping they can still do that and get that done. Going with his uh, theme of, um, his Halloween theme for the month. I just, I feel really bad. I really do. You know. Said an unfortunate accident. Could have happened to either one of us. You know. I'm wearing cowboy boots. This is my hiking shoes are gone and every other pair of shoes that I own hurt my feet when I walk in them and these seem to be the only ones that don't hurt my feet so this is why I'm wearing them. That and I like them. Just kind of my thing. So. Oh, and as you saw from the beginning too, I am wearing a mask. They do require it. It does say though, if you can't maintain six foot um, distancing to wear a mask. So I guess since technically I'm alone right now, I probably could get away with not wearing it, but out of respect for everything and what's going on, I'm wearing it. And I keep pulling it up over my nose, but it, for me talking, it just slides right back down. So I gave up on that. <laughs> that fogs up my glasses. And I can't see where I'm walking. So. That thing would be neat to see restored. It's got a good bit of rust on it. So hopefully they can do something with it at some point. Be nice to see that. Looking all pretty again although it does look cool how it is too so and here you just got a couple box cars so. all right we'll, we'll head out to the parking lot there's another another one over there we'll go take a look at and probably wrap it up from there all right here we go so now that i'm basically out in the parking lot by myself I took my mask off so you can hear me better it's not muffled mask talk but I think I do remember this too from before seeing this here before somewhere in the yard though it wasn't out here I, mean, with, I guess what's going on here they set this up out here there is actually coal in this car too. I could see it as I was walking up to it. And this Pennsylvania rail car here, box car. Could be leather right on it. Yeah. I'm at least getting rid of road on it with the fingers and not defeated it. Spring packs here. <laughs> but they don't even move. <laughs> they might, but probably don't even see them moving. So, this you can actually see as you drive in because this would be your drive way you drive in here. go in this direction here so this is what you would see as you drive in Maybe 
that car holds 100,000 pounds capacity. Load limit 129,000. I guess the, that's a built date. Was that 1918 this was built? Was it that old? Huh. This would actually be kind of cool to have and live in. <coughs> Converted into a little home. Hide it in the woods somewhere. <laughs> Build my pole barn for my tractors. <laughs> my dream cars and trucks and stuff. Just live off the grid in a caboose. That would work for me. Yeah. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up from Steamtown. Like I said this was a kind of a update to let you know that it is open. They do have precautions with everything going on and you can come out and see, still see the displays limited, but you can still come out and see it. So again, thinking about Jay and his unfortunate injury from today. I hope you get better, brother. You guys make sure you keep positive thoughts for him. You know, don't make it over too too over dramatic it was a nail in his foot you know it's, it's not gonna fall off or anything he'll be fine but still in the meantime kind of feel bummed about well i do feel bummed about it because you know neither one of us were thinking that was going to happen when we woke up this morning so just little tidbit or just a little thing to throw out there to if you're out exploring just to pay attention to where you're stepping watch what your watch your surroundings and what's around you and keep your eyes open i mean something like that can easily be missed where we were at there was a lot of leaves he probably didn't even see it and until it was too late so again just be careful be cautious watch what you do watch where you step and uh in the meantime, you know, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you like this kind of content, let me know in the comments. Subscribe shows me that you enjoy the content and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.